Hello everybody, welcome to Solis Reef. Um, like I told you guys before, I'm having some problems with the tank. Um, some of the corals been dying, trying very hard to keep. I haven't taken care of the tank in a, in a few months, just doing like the basic, basic stuff to um, keep up with the tank. So um, I tested all the water and to my surprise everything is pretty good um causing a little low it's at 300 350 something like that i can't recall it right now but other than that everything is pretty good everything's on check so let's take a look see what's wrong with this tank you know um let's do a few changes and i don't know guys maybe you can help me out so let's take a look. Let's switch the camera. Okay, here's the tank. Everything looks good. Let me see if I can turn off the blues. So. <laughs> Wrong one. <laughs> okay that's better see a lot of calling algae growing on it it's growing everywhere that core is actually looking awesome let's see I haven't cleaned the glass like I said I haven't been taking care of the tank but everything seems to be growing. I don't know what everything looks brighter than the in the video. So those ain't doing too good. So everything is it's doing good. Phosphates are zero. Um, nitrous are zero can't get no nitrate in here and phosphate here I'm even thinking about dosing some nitrate and phosphate my bio load is very small the little coral is dying also so nutrients are very low so I will have to start feeding more or we'll change a little of everything I have here I guess I designed the tank too good too well with filtration in mind with all the problems I have with my other previous tank so I decided I was gonna overthink everything and that's what happened so let's go see the bottom of the tank open the other door well this was pretty much DIY all right I haven't I didn't buy much of it that tank right there is Machado. You can see it on the top growing. Very nasty. That's the Kessel Light that I won at Bulk Reef Supply. Thank you, Bulk Reef Supply, for that. This little thing is keeping everything at zero. It goes from there, you drain in here. That water right there is showing me that there's too much Machado there growing in there. It's blocking the drain from coming all the way down. Carbon and GF4. GF4 is not even running. The carbon I run it like once a month. Filter socks, you see how dirty they are. They've been there probably like two, three months. And um, nitrous still don't go up. That thing is doing too much of a good job. Hold it. My glasses. <laughs> I've been looking for you guys. my prescription glasses I've been using my old one sorry about that guy <laughs> but been looking for, for a couple of months <laughs> all right so temperatures go good the soil level is good everything checks out good the only thing is nitrate and phosphate too low you know um, my protein skimmer you guys can see 
It's a beast. It's too big for this tank. But I've been running it only like four hours a day. So we're going to take the filter socks out and we're going to clean some of this out, see if it helps out. So give me a second, guide and I'll be back with you once everything's pretty much done. All right. Um, let's see if I can clean this out a little bit. I got a bucket right here to help me out. Yeah, excuse me, guys. I really hate you all know, doing it all by myself. Carbon haven't been changed. I got to change that. Get this thing out. Guys, it's really dirty in there. I've been changed in a while, so it's pretty good. Even Carly now just growing on it. That's how long it's been here. <laughs> All right, let's move the other one. What I say to you guys, this is all DIY. I um I made everything. The filter right here. The sump. I made it. I think it needs a little cleanup right there. Now if I really want to clean it up this time. Next thing will be clean some of that shade out and see how it goes with the tank okay guys um let me put the camera down clean it up a little bit Let's see see how thick it is that is actually dead I on top and look how much of it is there it's really dense Anybody who won some chato, it's free. <laughs> Drop a comment. I'm saying some. Put some you know, my purple eye gene in. Coming back. All right, guys, let me clean some of this out and um, I'll come back once everything is cleaned up. So it's run by Kessel Light. It was given free by Book Rich Supplies on one of the giveaway. So, give me a second, guys. I come back once so cleaned up. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, did a few changes like you saw before. I took the filter socks. I took out about half of the chato. Um, that's all dead stuff in it. I don't know if you guys can see it. I was gonna clean it up, but I really don't wanna mess with the ecosystem so much. I have bio bowls here. I have those socks in there for a while. At least since I don't know since um, November, and um, my nitrate haven't gotten up. I have a UV there. Plug is right there, ready to go just in case I needed it. 
I would need it. I think I'm gonna take it out of there. Um, I don't know if somebody needs it. Leave a comment on the that you need it, and maybe we could do we could give them a wait. I don't know. Um, but anyway, guys, um, that's all I've done. I'm gonna change the carbon. You guys know how to how that goes. This pipe right here, it was draining to this main chamber. I'll put it right here because maybe I could eliminate a little bit of that. Um, I don't know guys. You guys tell me what can I do to make the tank better. Tank is dirty. I'm going to clean it up and come back. Also, I took this out. It was on that pipe right there. It was to help me with the excess bubbles that I had coming out of that pipe. But with all the chato and everything growing in it, I don't really need it. Okay, guys. This is how much I took out. So, about a good third of the bucket full. Um, that's a five gallon bucket. Anybody need some? Leave a comment below. I will ship it out to you guys for free. Let me know. You know what you guys think I should do to make the tank a little better. All right. Um, I guess the filtration is working too good for me. If you guys want me to explain what all this pipe madness is. Let me know. Let me know. See, I want to get. If you guys want to see the side with all with the controls on, let me know. Um, guys, leave a comment. That's all I got for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channels. We're gonna start to try and make new cha new videos for the channel. So stay tuned. Okay, guys. Next time, guys. Talk to you later. Enjoy the video. Bye.